Welcome to Rediscover the Verde Valley. I'm Christian Oliva Del Rio. I'm your CEO for the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce. And with me this morning is my very good friend, Janet Kelly. She is the branch manager for National Bank of Arizona. Uh, you also sit on the board of directors for the Cottonwood Economic Development Council. And you're also the secretary uh, for the CEDC. Okay. Um, which was what I just said, <laughs> as well as a board of directors for the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce. So good morning. You're good morning. You're very involved in a lot of different things, aren't I, you? I like it. I yeah. like to be involved. It's so fun. we've known each other mm -hmm. quite a number of years. We were just talking about that. Yeah. That so I've been here about 26 years, and you 22. 22 years. And mm -hmm. I remember first seeing you and meeting you at Bank of America. That's where I wow. first started. Wow, isn't that something? It's been mm -hmm. quite a few years, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. yeah. So you've been in the Verde Valley for 22 years, and right. you, you moved here from? So yeah, originally I'm a transplant from Chicago. Right. And then, um, but I always knew I was going to live in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. And they even wrote it in my yearbook. <laughs> have a good life there, and I'm like, I shall. Thank yeah. <laughs> so, so originally you moved uh, to uh -huh. where in Arizona? To uh, Phoenix. Phoenix area. The Phoenix yeah. area, yeah. yeah. And we spent 12 years down mm -hmm. there. And it was great. It was good. It was a good place to raise the kids. Yeah. You know, good schools. Right. And it was good upbringing for them. But I just, you know, I, I was raised in a small town mm -hmm. and really wanted to get back to that where they know your name at the grocery right. store. Right, right. You know, and you don't feel bank. like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the bank. It's true. So, what brought you to the Verde <clears throat> Valley? Had you. Had you know, you? I was the smog. I was out hiking. I loved to hike. Yeah. And I was sitting on top of a mountain. I looked out and it was all hazy and smoky. And I'm like, you know, I just don't feel like I belong here anymore. Mm -hmm. And then so I just kind of had a discover day where I went and, you know, Explore. hung out up here. Yeah. And I was like, I love it here. Yeah. So, I think that happens mm -hmm. to most people that come mm -hmm. to this it's area. It's like, yeah. It's they like discover a, the beauty and right? all of the things that you can really do. Mm -hmm. um, there's so much to do here. There That's is. What, I love it. You know, I, I also grew up, I, I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, so big city, you know. Yeah. and. Um, Moving here, one of the first things I realized was um, people were really friendly, you know, they uh, are. complete strangers waving to uh, you as you're driving down the street. It was a little scary because the neighborhood I grew up in it was <laughs> not like that. that. <laughs> That's funny. They didn't, huh? Yeah, they were waving other signs at me. It <laughs> <laughs> wasn't very nice, but, oh you know, uh, we love the Verde Valley and, um, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, there's a lot to do, and I'm mm -hmm. sure that's what you know you love about it as well. But uh, the, the community itself, heart. this community, always seems to step up and help out, and it's, it's just a great wants community. Wants to support great people, so. and it keeps attracting good people. Right. So that's what makes it so powerful. Good. We're doing a good job then, mm -hmm. I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So some of the other clubs and maybe organizations that you were involved in, you know, we were also mm -hmm. touching on that. Um, yeah. You were in uh, Verde Valley Leadership, and that's where you and I kind of really we um, did grew our right. relationship there right so it's true leadership was a great experience yeah. and I think they're going we talked they're going in their 14th year yeah it's yeah. very exciting because we were in the you know the roots part right. of it where the so grass class, roots. class three class and three. I was class two mm -hmm. so and I learned a lot that mm -hmm. was a really a uh, really great experience back in the day it was a two-year program right it was intense it was very and intense. then we went right from the the class right into being on the board being right on the board and, and giving mm -hmm. back uh, right um, what's their their vision uh, yes. is inspiring individuals Indeed. to action. So That's true. We serve as on we that. are here today. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's a great it. program. It is. So, um, Chamber of Commerce. Mm, I yeah. love the chamber. You do. Thank you for inviting Thank me. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, I love it. What? What? So, what do you love about it? What I do you what draws love, you to I it? I love being involved in the community mm -hmm. and hearing about all that because the chamber does so much. Yeah. It's, there's so much, and this community is so rich in just what it does. Mm -hmm. And like the Christmas parade, somebody was in the bank the other day talking yeah. about that. They can't wait for the Christmas parade. You know, it's right. a little thing, yeah. but that's kind of a big thing. It is a big thing. You know, we're going into our 65th year. Do we have a theme yet? Uh, uh, we do, and I, you put me on the spot because I don't know what it is, unfortunately. That's all right. That's all right. I'm going to have to get Colleen over here and <laughs> okay. do another one on the parade. But, okay, good. But yeah, it's those, um, you know, that. those little events like that and stuff, but. You know, the chamber does other things too for, it's not just about no. events, so. No, um, it isn't. Yeah. Um, how does the bank, how does the chamber benefit the bank? 
Well, you know, I just think it's a really great partnership. Mm -hmm. You know, like we'll host the mixers, mm -hmm. and I, you know, and that's just another way to just get in front of you know the other business right. partners and networking. And networking, yeah. it's really good at, at that, and uh, you know, basically just everything that. Well, and there's so many there's so many fingers to the chamber. There so, are, yeah. You I don't know, think I, everybody really realizes all of the things that we're kind of engaged <laughs> yes, in. So, but. I don't think that they realize how much manpower goes mm -hmm. into doing what you know. Yeah. What the community is all about. Yeah. It's pretty powerful. Well, thank you. We yeah. appreciate it. Well, <laughs> we yeah. love our community. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, you're the engine, so you're doing a good job. <laughs> I've got an excellent staff that is the engine that uh -huh. helps me along the way. So there's always a good team behind everything there we do. It has to be, you mm -hmm. know, really, and. Um, um, you know, I've been blessed uh, for the 12 years that I've been with the chamber. Okay. So, how long have you been with National Board? <clears throat> 11 years. Wow, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 11 years. I know it's gone by so fast. Right. It's easy when you're working for a company that you you believe in. Right. And uh, you see the good things that they do. Um, right. It doesn't feel like a job. It's you know? true. Right. There's very National Bank is very community. It's a community it, bank. It is. And they're very community minded. You know, we do like the business of the week where a business right. can set up and do free advertising That's for a That's wonderful, week. right. You yeah. know, just all those things. How do you pick those? How do you get They the, just come. They do. They, yes. they say, oh, I'd like to be mm -hmm. uh, highlighted this week or Right, whatever. so right. if you're banking with me and you're a current business customer, you yeah. can you can set up your wares. Wonderful. And just and you set it up on a Monday morning, take down Friday night, mm -hmm. and people love it. Yeah. So I always have a display. I've had spas in my lobby, beds. Wow. Full um, of water? Side by side. <laughs> <laughs> we put some gallons of water. <laughs> we got to do a spa and maybe a wine tasting room. <laughs> right, there you go. Now you're thinking. Now that's See? banking. <laughs> that is banking. <laughs> no, I know it makes it interesting because when the people come in, they're like, oh. Right. And then they you get might to learn hear. about a company that was in town that you didn't, they didn't really even know about. Yeah, right. So it's, it's very powerful. Yeah, that's We're, wonderful. Mm. So uh, the CEDC, so um, yes. what got you involved with that? So that's Cottonwood Economic Development Council, right? It is, right? yes. And Back in the day, Casey Rooney approached me and he's like, Janet, would you like to be part of it? And I just, you know, I don't know, maybe it's, it's not that I'm nosy, but I do like to know what's going sure. on in the community. Mm -hmm. And so it was a way to, you know, go and attend meetings and hear about what was happening. Right. And um, so it was just kind of exciting. And I said, sure, you know, of course, yeah. you know, and so it's kind of morphed into where it is today. Right, right. But now, but I've always, I'm very passionate about, you know, business and the growth mm -hmm. and the community. And I like the fact that when I'm on the CEDC, and we should call it Cottonwood Economic Econ Development, Development right, right. Council, right? Sure. So I like the fact that my we all have a voice, yeah. And you get to everybody got heard. And, everybody and everybody gets got heard. to share what they were yeah. working on and, and things. It really, it really was, and that's kind of I think what Casey had intended and started right. it was uh, for it to be kind of an incubator, right? Mm -hmm. For for business people, we had everything from education, banking, obviously chamber, government. Right. Uh, we had a lot utilities. of different real yeah, utilities, uh, real estate, a lot of different industries um, throughout the Verde Valley that came together and were able to share ideas and, and share true. what projects and things they were working on, huh? It was it's true. Very it's informative. Very yeah. informative and just, yeah, on a really broad spectrum. I mean, mm -hmm. it covered a lot of different it areas. It did, yeah, yeah. Um, so now uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're definitely honing our focus mm -hmm. a little we bit are. more. We've gone through we some are. pretty major um, mm -hmm. um, structure changes. We have, but change is good. But I think change is good, absolutely. Is good. I'm excited about the mm -hmm. future and where we're heading with Me it. too. And, and you know, we haven't really shared a whole lot with the community about, you know, we, we kind of took a hiatus there for a little bit to, to regroup and refocus. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, how, how are you feeling about that? I Do feel you, uh, really good about yeah, it. I just yeah. feel like we've got, you know, we're gonna just, you know, we're growing wings mm -hmm. and I think it's gonna be really good. Okay. I think the focus is gonna be right where it needs to be on right. business development. Right. And I think that's an awesome thing. It is, you it's know. important, uh, yeah. So Janet, let's take a quick break. Okay. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about right. CDC and the direction and the bank and everything, okay? I love it. All right, Kay. awesome. Thank you. Come right back with us, okay? This is Bruce Morrow, Transportation Manager for Cottonwood Area Transit. Remember, we cover the entire Verde Valley in Sedona. Cottonwood Area Transit has you covered wherever you want to ride in the Verde Valley, all day, every day. Take Cottonwood Area Transit through Clarkdale, Verde Village, and from 26 locations in Cottonwood. With Verde Links, it's a quick and easy trip to Sedona every day. 
Don't forget our connectors to Camp Verde. Visit cottonwoodaz.gov for Cottonwood Area Transit and take a seat. Let's go ride. There are people who struggle with addiction and homelessness. Sometimes it may feel like there is nothing we can do to help. But there is. You can make a tax-deductible donation and help those in need transition away from homelessness. When you give someone a handout, you could actually be supporting an addiction. A better life starts with better health, especially for those living in the streets. Support solutions, not addictions. You can make a difference. Visit cottonwoodcares.org. Welcome back to Rediscover the Verde Valley. Again with me is Janet Kelly uh, with National Bank, CDC, and Cottonwood Chamber of <laughs> Commerce, among right. the many other things that you do. <laughs> so, uh, you know, right before the, the, the break, we were talking a little bit more about CDC and, and mm -hmm. our refocus and whatnot. And mm -hmm. so, um, can you share a little bit more about some of the things that we've been kind of yeah. talking about and, sure. and thinking we might want to explore? Sure. 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 Well, um, some of the things, um, the Buxton, I think, right. you know, it's kind of, I'm excited about that. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. It's a very large investment that the right. community would make right. towards growth. Right. So mm -hmm. Buxton Report um, is a company that comes in and, and right. explores your demographics and, and sees where people go mm -hmm. shopping. So, you know, they may be right. driving over the mountain to Prescott mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, what kind of... Um, retail stores or whatever restaurants are they going to mm -hmm. and then they're able to pull data together and then court these potential businesses it's right. an attraction tool to bring business sure. into the area right right exactly right. Right. right right that's so that's i mean we're looking at you know several different things but mm -hmm. that's one that's one right and i like you know r just recently we just went in and and invested you know here locally in mm -hmm. our community and gave some of our dollars into the verde valley wine trail which right we're excited about and the old town association, association yeah which are two very near and dear to all of our hearts right you know, right. organizations that are nonprofits themselves. Yeah, and doing really good work in the area. <clears throat> right. Um, you know, that really fits right in with our vision and mission of, you know, growing the economy right. and um, um, supporting tourism, mm -hmm. which is one of our major industries and it attractions is. here. And uh, we definitely are de a destination, so mm -hmm. it's good to, to yeah. support those things. But that's probably something else that we might look at moving down the, the line is uh, mm -hmm. maybe a grant process so we can help out other I would love nonprofits. That. And right? that's, I think that's definitely our direction. I mean, right. I think if we've defined anything, I think that's it. Yes. Is right. that we're gonna need to fund ourselves mm -hmm. with grant, you know, and then we right. can in turn go in and support all the right. different things that are Yeah, needed. I'm glad that you brought that up because this, the CDC has got a great opportunity in front of it in that mm -hmm. it is uh, also has a foundation that right. was created under it, a 501c3 charitable uh, that's correct. organization. That's so, correct. Right. And that I think that that's going to be our direction. Right. I really do. I see that as being our direction, that, mm -hmm. you know, being a foundation, because that allows us to do the grant writing, mm -hmm. which, right. you know. To bring which, in revenue, to but bring in revenue. also to then mm -hmm. share it in, with the community. Correct. Right? right. And that's really what we're all about. So. Right. That CDC has mm -hmm. a, a long history of, of stepping up and really filling in those gaps and helping with um, they did. They did the, They did the hotel feasibility study. Yeah, right. I mean, they, we've done some big things. Right, right. So, and those, you know, I mean, that's all because we just invested in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We believe in the community mm -hmm. for sure and, yeah. and want to give back. So It's true. Um, it's good stuff for it sure. It is. Um, and more to come on the CDC <coughs> and the CDF, I know. right? So, right. So, uh, tell us a little bit more about National Bank. So, um, you know, you, you, you said, so National Bank has been in business for- 30 years. Wow. Yeah, yeah. 30 so. years. And we started as a little business boutique bank. Wow, yeah. So we were just a little boutique bank. Yeah. And then it grew. And mm -hmm. so our main focus still is business mm -hmm. and business customers. So we handle it from when they're first starting you know, when I, I have a customer come to me and they're like, I want to start a business. Yeah. So we'll help them with the SBA. We are SBA preferred lender. Right. So we'll start getting that business, you know, moving and get it started. And then we're there for when they, all the growth periods and then when they retire. For those of us that maybe don't know, what SBA and what is oh, okay, it? How yeah, does sure. that work? So SBA uh -huh. is, um, so it's small business uh -huh. administration. So it's basically a government financing. Okay. So the government partners with the bank. Right. 
Right. And then they they finance. Right. So the, all the risk is not on the bank. It's with the government and the bank. It makes it a bank. little bit easier. It makes it a little bit easier. Right. Everybody can breathe a little bit easier. Right. So they have a you know they have a pretty good process. Mm -hmm. And you know you have to form a business plan, but that sets the customer up for success. Success exactly. You really mm -hmm. should be considering <clears throat> a business plan. Don't just run yes. into it blindly. But yeah, um, it's yeah. true. And I've been yeah. partnering a lot with the SBDC, which is um, small business development. Um, and they are right. Ruth Ellen Alinsky, and she's been wonderful up because here, she'll yeah, help. By college, right? Yes, yeah. up by, yeah, by college. Mm -hmm. So she'll help the business customer, you know, with forming their entity. And right. That's doing also the an, plan. Uh, an awesome, again, uh, our community and these yes. resources that maybe people don't know about, but most, right. the majority of, not uh -huh. all, the uh, resources sure. that they can give are free it's to true. people. It's right? all free. Yeah, it's I know. amazing. Right? And people so, don't know about it or nor take advantage right, of it. Right, right. So mm -hmm. we're going to start spreading that word a lot. Yeah, more too. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of entrepreneurs in mm -hmm. our area, and I think you know, the wine industry is really um, right? a great way for people to explore that potentially, and just you know, and there's so, so many different things that people can do here. So, uh, w along with the SBA and the SBDC. Uh -huh. That all kind of ties right in with, and there's all these acronyms, right? Right, I know where you are. Rio, I know. right? <laughs> Verde Valley, yeah. Verde Valley Regional Economic Organization. Correct, it's so, a mouthful. Yeah, mm -hmm. but being a, a, a partner with SBA, that uh -huh. also then opens up the door for you to work with. It's true. With VV Rio, how does that, how does so, that work? So, VV Rio, and we'll just use acronyms, but yeah. they're amazing too, and they have a revolving loan fund. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so sometimes I can help a business customer, but they're gonna need a little bit additional help in yeah. maybe, you know, um, getting their business going, or they hit a lull, or they need, you know, a little injection money, yeah. and the bank can't do it for right. whatever reason. Right. I mean, we so we'd love to try and help yeah, everybody, but yeah, we can't but always. You can't, right. So they step in in those cases. It's a good and alternative. They're also an amazing partner. They mm -hmm. come in, and they're again another nonprofit. Right. So we're surrounded right. by. This yes. community has so many nonprofits that right. are in so the many giving. nonprofits that give back. To that the give community. back. It's amazing. And so they help business customers if they need a little injection, mm -hmm. capital injection, and right. they and it's a short term. It's short term financing. Right. Um, three years, I believe they like to keep it too, mm -hmm. but it's there. And right. it's, and I think at one point they had half a million. Yeah. In a revolving yeah. loan fund, I know. which yeah. is awesome. Right. But yeah, they're another really good resource. You're you're great at digging in there. There's so many you <laughs> there forget are. about. How yeah, many I know, there right? And and mm -hmm. yeah, it, it is. It it can get a little mind boggling <laughs> at times how many. But it's that's true. why we have to have things like this to share this information and get that word out because then true. it puts it out there. So that's true. Um, you know, um, National Bank does do a lot of different programs to help community members, individuals, mm -hmm. our, our neighbors, as well as business. So mm -hmm. I know you got a couple programs that are kind of going right oh, now. Yeah. So Yeah, we did. I, wanna... I was excited. Yeah, yeah, the bank, they graced us with right. a lot of really great promotions this, this last quarter. So um, the Home Equity Credit Line is 2.99 for 12 months. Right. So that's a great promotion yeah. and then for the consumer. And then on the business side, so this is where I get really passionate because if I have a business customer that wants to buy a building, say they've been leasing for 10 years, mm -hmm. and they want to have a piece of the rock. Right. So the promotion right now is 3.99 right. for five years. That's the interest rate That's for to awesome. own a building right. yeah. for a business customer or refinance. Owner occupied. Right. right. Yes. Owner occupied. Have to be in it. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, they need to be occupying right. it. Right. But that's a wonderful promotion too, and the bank is, you know, they're not charging the 1% um, origination fee, and then right. they're also throwing in a thousand towards the appraisal. Wow, that's so it's pretty a nice, awesome, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice promotion. Right, mm -hmm. cool. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> you know, other events, I mean, do you guys yeah. do? Yeah, we have a couple events coming up. So we've got the Taste of Biltmore is, mm. actually this is, it's really soon, it's next Thursday, mm. from six to nine. But I love that, and one year I have to attend, and, and I feel bad I haven't gotten down yeah. there. But it looks like so much fun. Right. And it started out as a customer appreciation. Right. And then it morphed into this big event where they invite all the local people down by the Biltmore. That's, that's our yeah. That's, that's down, where the main right. office are, mm -hmm. right, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then so they you know host this big taste of Biltmore and mm -hmm. all the profits go into a nonprofit. They choose a nonprofit every year nice. to where the profits go Excellent. to. Excellent, yeah. Yeah, so they've raised almost over 112,000. Wow. 
That's yeah, huge. O over these last several yeah. years doing this yeah. event. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Yeah. So very community-oriented bank, right? I mean, very you started much out so. as a small... We have 59 branches mm -hmm. throughout the state. So right. in every community, right. we're in every community. And I just love that. It is. It's funny, though, because we were also talking right <laughs> before we did this, right? Was right. that, uh, you know, you go into the big city or mm -hmm. <laughs> call it the big city now. <laughs> the metro. <laughs> the metro, right? But, you know, you go in and it feels like, you know, everybody is automated. It's not. It's true. It, there's no. I know. Where you walk in National Bank here, and you know, or Everybody anywhere else in name. Arizona, and yeah, it's they like it's name. like Cheers. <laughs> no like arm. It is like. Cheers. I know you walk through the door, and everybody yells to you. It's a little scary at first, but <laughs> it's true. No, my boyfriend when he comes up to visit because he lives in Mesa. When he comes up, he's like, "Oh my gosh, you know everybody." Yeah, uh, yeah. But it's like, but you it do. is. It's true. Yeah, mm. and I love that about it. It's yeah, just, I do too. You know, that's <laughs> definitely what I love about our community because you do you mm -hmm. see people everywhere everybody I mean you walk yep. into that bank and everybody's your neighbor or whatever you know so it's, true. Um, it's, it's important it, it is it keeps important it's good so we have finished our second segment okay. we're gonna take another quick break, all right and then when we come back we'll talk some more okay, okay sounds good all right we'll see you in a minute This is Bruce Morrow, Transportation Manager for Cottonwood Area Transit. Remember, we cover the entire Verde Valley in Sedona. Cottonwood Area Transit has you covered wherever you want to ride in the Verde Valley, all day, every day. Take Cottonwood Area Transit through Clarkdale, Verde Village, and from 26 locations in Cottonwood. With Verde Links, it's a quick and easy trip to Sedona every day. Don't forget our connectors to Camp Verde. Visit CottonwoodAZ.gov for Cottonwood Area Transit and take a seat. Let's go ride! There are people who struggle with addiction and homelessness. Sometimes it may feel like there is nothing we can do to help. But there is. You can make a tax-deductible donation and help those in need transition away from homelessness. When you give someone a handout, you could actually be supporting an addiction. A better life starts with better health, especially for those living in the streets. Support solutions, not addictions. You can make a difference. Visit cottonwoodcares.org. Welcome back to Rediscover the Verde Valley. Again, I'm Christian Oliva Del Rio, your CEO for the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce. And with me again is Janet <laughs> Kelly, very good friend of mine, National Bank of Arizona. <laughs> Wonderful, Cotton. wonderful to be here. Yeah, <laughs> it's been fun, right? It has been. Yes, fun. yes. you're not nervous. Oh no, 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 we're all good. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> so uh, we were talking about the bank a little bit yeah. more, and uh, let's let's share a little bit more information. So sure. you know, uh, some of these great programs that you got mm -hmm. for you know um, small business people that may want to, yes. um, you know, own the building that they're in right. and, and running their business, and some right. great rates on that, as well as uh, mm -hmm. home equity lines. Sure. Um, so. How can people find out more about this other than going into the branch themselves, yes, right? right. Um, um, got a website, we do. Facebook. Yep, NB so. Arizona, NB Arizona .com. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in there, there's so many resources for business customers, consumer customers. I mean, people can apply online now anymore. Everything right. is so automated with that, right. you know, which is awesome. Yeah. We've so really gotten on board with all yeah. that. It's great information. Um, mm -hmm. I actually used that bank it's, for uh, yes. our accounts, and right? it's very easy to get in there and, and, and work with it. So mm -hmm. a lot of tools for people in there as well. There really so, are. Um, any other opportunities for the bank? Or you we have, actually, so we have, I shared with you, we had the 59 branches. Yeah. And we are the largest regional state, you know, right. the bank in the state of right. Arizona. So, and we're, our, our parent company is Ions Bank Corporation mm -hmm. out of Utah. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting. We're really a unique bank in the fact that there's 11 affiliates. Mm -hmm. And when you look at like banks, like you look at you know our competitors like the big Chase and mm -hmm. Wells and all that, none of them are operating like that. So we have 11 individual yeah. banks like us right. in all the western states that are operating. So yeah. it's really kind of an interesting That's nice. makeup. It really is. Mm -hmm. And um, so, but yeah, right now, currently, we have, I've been helping out up at Page oh, because wow. they they don't have a manager up there. So yeah. actually, it's been a couple of weeks, of, which has been kind of nice. Yeah, <laughs> kind of nice. That'd be a little bit of a drive, it was, but being up there is kind of nice fun, right? It was nice visiting, yeah. yeah. So, but they need a manager, so right. there you go. But 
there are career opportunities on our website. Yeah. So if uh, if somebody was interested in Excellent. a career in banking, so, yeah. they could so go in there. So if you're in banking and yeah. want uh, to there explore another option, <laughs> National Bank is uh, is hiring. So right. that's awesome. <laughs> that is. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, let's go back a little, switch gears a little okay, bit more, and sure. maybe go back to um, Chamber of Commerce okay. and uh, economic development, and you know mm -hmm. um, why you're engaged in it, and what 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 do you see maybe moving forward, and how we can do better? Well, I don't know if we yeah. can do better because we're doing amazing things. We're doing pretty amazing. I think I'm, we can always do. Yeah, better, we can always right? do better. We can try. <laughs> I know. Well, um, yeah. I guess you know. So recently, we've got you know this opportunity came up with this AED program. So was it the fire department? It's, so the fire the, department, yeah, right. and they helped out with, with mm -hmm. the city of Cottonwood, mm -hmm. and they're um, they're going to put uh, an AED, which is an automated uh, echo defibrillator. defibrillator. <laughs> Case God forbid, right, any of us need it. They're going to put one on either end of the street in Old Town, right? right. Uh, one mm -hmm. down by the jail trail, yes. one up at the far end. Right. And, um, uh, it's a uh, safety precautions. It's anybody could use it. Uh, if somebody's having a cardiac uh, event, right. they can go over and grab this yes. defibrillator and hook it up to the person and it walks you through the process of how to do that. Pretty exciting and <laughs> kind of scary at the same time because, um, you know, I was worried, what, what if you shock somebody that didn't need to be shocked. But it tells you. It tells you. It tells it you. It will not shock I them. I know. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. That is very cool. So, it's dummy proof. Yeah, I, <laughs> we hope. <laughs> but anyway, so the city was yeah. looking for uh, Yeah, so the city was looking for or, some help. They needed cabinets for it. So the, um, the CEDC decided that we would go ahead and fund that. Yeah. And that's good, because it's just all about business safety. And, and, and community, and, and community. giving back to the and community. And giving back, so, so yeah, right. so that's gonna happen. So that was kind of exciting. Yeah, so we've had three major we projects have. that we're moving mm -hmm. forward with in, yep. in helping uh, the Wine Trail and the Old Town Association. So the uh -huh. Wine Trail, um, what do you know about the Wine Trail? We've, they've been around for they a have. little while. Huh? They have. So yeah. they're like they're instrumental in bringing you know people up from mm -hmm. the metro. Mm -hmm. They're all about that, like in getting our visitors. To, sure. Because when you look at the community, it's not just Cottonwood. Right. It's Clarkdale. It's the yeah. train. It's right. Sedona, and there's so many different. Everything's components. tied together. It's right? It's all the, tied together. We are a destination in itself. We right? are. So and the, and the wineries are totally a big part draw. of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that helps, you know, feed that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, the chamber started the wine trail. It's probably been about nine years ago, so right. it's been around for a little bit. But yeah. its primary purpose was to be um, marketing to the end consumer mm -hmm. and, and drawing people up here that like to drink wine or have never <laughs> drink it, uh, drinking, drinking, <laughs> have drank wine before and can come up and right. enjoy some. And so. experience it. Right. Because so it's an experience. It's it not just about the glass of wine. It's the experience. Right. And then the nice thing about it is that, you know, we've got so much to do here within 20 minutes of us, right? I so know. you may come up here for wine tasting, right? but we highly recommend that you spend the night uh -huh. and then go kayaking down the river right. or or hiking, like hiking what brought you here, in right? in Sedona, right. Yeah, you know, um, mm -hmm. um, go see the archeology span sites and uh, the right. museum over in Camp Verde or, or the over Copper the museum. Copper Art Museum in Clarkdale. I know. We've got so much it's here, right? It's a just lot amazing. of Old Town Cottonwood, right? It's a lot of rich history here. Yeah. That Copper Museum, his pitch, what is Drake's pitch? He, what does he say? They exported like some five billion ton of copper or something, some astronomical yeah. amount, and then he brought a sample back from all around the world. Right, yeah. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. That's just one little place, mm -hmm. but there's so many of them yeah. like that. Yeah. It's wonderful. We love our Verde Valley. We so, do. Um, looking forward to um, working with you a lot mm, more on I all know. of this stuff. I am excited for our future. Yeah, we've got some really good things happening here. Mm. Um, we've unfortunately come to about the end of our time. Oh. And um, <laughs> so we'll just have to okay. keep talking afterwards. <laughs> That's so much I could talk to you about. That's really good. <laughs> Well, I definitely appreciate everything that you're Aww. doing for our community, Janet. Um, I love that you're engaged. Um, I love that we're friends. I know, and me too. We've got a real me special too. friendship. And um, Thank you for everything. Thank you. You've been um, an amazing partner for the community. Yeah. So well, Keep thanks. doing what you're Likewise, doing. Likewise, right? We're, yes. we're inspiring individuals yep. to action. And there you we're go. We're working together on it. So <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay. And thank you for joining us, folks. And we will see you next time. <laughs>